Kiko, my chihuahua, started to have a habit of barking at the door when anyone came in the house, including me. At first, she just barked at the door a couple of times, and then suddenly she started sensitizing, so even the sound of my telephone ringing if someone was coming over, me knocking on a piece of furniture, or the door opening and closing would send her into a mad frenzy of barking. Another terrible thing that was happening is that once Kiko started barking, my other little dog would join in. Kiko is a very friendly dog, but because she was going on this downward spiral, even the word hello, spoken by someone she really liked, sent her over her threshold. <laughs> Go say hi, Kiko. Go say hi, Kiko. When training a dog, the last thing you want your dog to do is exhibit the behaviors you're trying to get rid of. This is because every time the dog rehearses undesirable behaviors, it makes your dog more likely to regress to those behaviors in the future. This is why, in all of my videos, I prevent the dogs from doing the undesired behaviors by setting them up for success. However, in this video, I did allow my chihuahua to bark even though it was detrimental to the training process in the hope that it would encourage people to train their own dogs without the use of physical or psychological intimidation. The game plan. One, write a list of triggers, or in other words, the things that make your dog bark at the door. Two, use counter conditioning with each trigger separately. Three, add the triggers together one at a time once your dog has started to look happy relaxed and expectant of a treat for each trigger. Four, prevent your dog from seeing or hearing the triggers outside of training sessions until you have finished your training. So here's the list of Kiko's triggers that we're gonna go over in this video. If you're uncertain as to what your dog's triggers are, you can simply break apart the scenario into tiny pieces that you will condition one step at a time. For example, knocking on the door, the door opening, and a person entering. The knocking trigger. To use counter conditioning, you simply have to create the trigger, which in this case is knocking, and then follow it up with a high value reinforcement. The most important thing to remember is that the trigger should predict the reinforcement, so you want to make sure that you give the treat after the dog hears or sees the trigger rather than at the same time. To set my dog up for success, I'm knocking in areas that aren't related to the front door before I move on to knocking on the front door. The doorbell trigger. If you want to set your dog up for success, you can record the sound of the doorbell and play it at a lower volume at first. You can also take your dog outside and ring your own doorbell while your dog sees that there are no guests, but a lot of dogs will actually still bark even though they see that no one is there. The phone call trigger. This is pretty simple if you can get your telephone to make the sound as if it's ringing. You simply have to let the phone ring and then feed a treat. You can also change the ringtone on your phone until your dog is done with the training process. The door handle trigger. To set my dog up for success, I'm moving the handle from the outside so that the dog knows that there is no guest behind the door when we first start training. If you see that your dog is getting stressed or overexcited by the training, simply stop the training session and start again when your dog is relaxed and keep the sessions shorter. The door opening trigger. Open the door and then feed your dog a treat. If you think your dog is gonna go through the door, you can have your dog on a leash and a harness. The verbal greetings trigger. Think of all the different things you might say to people when they come in the door. I like to over-exaggerate my excitement so that when someone does come over, 
It's less exciting Hi. than in the training sessions. Hi! Hi! Hey, how's it going? Hi, come on in! Good job! Well done! The other dogs saying hi, Trigger. Tut, do you want to go say hi? Splash, go say hi! Good job! The person entering Trigger. This video tutorial is for dogs who are friendly towards visitors coming into the house but bark at the door. If your dog is fearful or aggressive towards strangers, don't do the exercises regarding people coming into your house as this could actually send your dog over his threshold and make the problems worse. For more information on training dogs that are fearful or aggressive towards people, see the description below. To set your dog up for success, first practice this exercise with people your dog lives with. If your dog can't even be calm when you come in the house, how can you possibly expect your dog to be calm when visitors come over? At first, practice these exercises when you've been home for quite a few hours and your dog is not excited to see you. Go outside, come in, feed your dog a treat, then go back outside. If you have a visitor help you with this exercise, wait until the visitor has been around for quite some time and your dog is bored of them for them to go out and come in and you can reinforce your dog for being calm when the visitor comes into your house. You can have your dog on a leash and harness if you think your dog might be too excited by being off leash with the visitor. Putting all the triggers together. Hello? Good job, Kita. Hey, come on in. Oh my goodness, you're, you're here? Oh, okay. They're here. They're here. Get it, Kita. Hello? What to do if your dog barks while you are training? Hi, how's it going? Hello everyone! Oh. If your dog barks, you can 1. Go back a step and set your dog up for success. 2. Put less time between the trigger and feeding the treat. And 3. Stop and try again when your dog is more relaxed. I went back a step after Kiko barked and kept the door open while I was knocking, but as you can see, Kiko still barked. Oh. So instead, I increased my rate of reinforcement and made sure to feed the treat as soon as I could after producing the trigger. Trish, come and lay down. Prevent your dog from seeing and hearing the triggers outside of training sessions during the training process. Figure out how to change the picture to prevent your dog barking. 
Here are some examples. One, meet guests outside with your dog on a leash at a distance. Two, have your dog in a crate in another room with music on if you do not wish to work with your dog when guests come over. Three, put a note on your door saying not to knock and instead call you. Four, you can be ready with treats and your dog on a leash further away from the door when the guests come in. Here are some tips. Use the most reinforcing treats possible, for example, real meat. If you use low value treats, the training will not be as effective. It's better to nip the problem in the bud with two weeks of one to three minute training sessions every day and then touch up lessons, rather than fooling around every once in a while when your dog starts to get on your nerves. Don't forget to subscribe to channel Kikopop for the latest free dog training videos.